they groom these people over months and months or even years, seriously. And they, they get money out of them. I spoke with David McClellan, the founder of socialcatfish.com. He says if you're involved in online dating, understanding the platform you're using is so important. A lot of them have scam sections. You just Google them. With the number of romance scams tripling since 2016, online dating and networking platforms are now trying to do more to verify people really are who they say they are. Unfortunately, where there's money to be made by scammers, they're going to do whatever it takes to bypass those systems. While fraud experts are encouraged to see online dating platforms doing more to stop these crimes, it's important to know how to avoid these scams in the first place. Here are some expert tips. First, don't overlook warning signs because of the excitement of making a connection. And don't ever let them take you to another platform. What they do is they take you, they'll talk to you, and then they'll move you off platform to Google at Google uh, Hangouts or WhatsApp or other chat platforms. That way, if their, pers if their uh, dating account gets flagged and deleted, they still have you on the hook. Consider delays to meet up in person a red flag. Never click strange links and remember to maintain strong passwords without giving up money or sensitive information. Straight ahead, I'll take you to one of our local college campuses where students share their thoughts on catfishing and romance scams and why they're expecting more of these online dating and social media platforms. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Patrick Nelson, News 5.